Greetings to everyone. My name is Angela Domasova and I am the founder and trainer at Luxembourg School of Contemporary Etiquette. We offer trainings and workshops in business etiquette and social skills to our private and corporate clients. Challenging times. I hope you stay safe. Carpe diem. Seize the day, as Latin proverb says. Time is really precious and very expensive. If you spend 24 hours, you have one day less to spend. So make sure you do it wisely. Enjoy every day of your life. If you cannot go to a restaurant, stay at home and lay the table. Invite your friends home. Is there any etiquette of how to lay the table properly? Surely yes. And today I will share a few tips with you. First of all, when you bring people at home, you think about how to arrange, decorate your table. Think about tablecloths. In my case, it's a beautiful tablecloth handmade by my daughter. And the tablecloth is transparent, so I use table mat to protect it. On the table mat, in the middle, I would have a plate with a napkin on it. On the sides, I would have utensils, forks on the left, knives and spoons on the right. The only fork which goes on the right is the one for oysters. But if you're not going to serve it today, just forget about it. In Western culture, there are two traditions of how to uh, set the place for one person. In British tradition, you would have a plate for bread on the left with a knife for butter and on the right you would have glasses. Each glass over a knife corresponding the dish which will be served. In the French tradition, you will not have the plate for bread. You will be able to put your bread directly on the tablecloth. In French tradition, you would put your glasses over the main plate, in the center. Glasses will be arranged in the order of appearing the dishes, from the right to the left. If you have fish, you will have a, a glass for uh, white wine. If you have meat, you will have glass for red wine. And the leftmost glass will be the glass for water. However, nowadays, people start drinking water more and more and they put it on the very right. We will see how this tradition will be developing in time. When you invite your friends home, try not to embarrass them with so many utensils on the table or with additional spoon for grapefruit or for strawberry with sugar. They are not specialists in etiquette and uh, all those in and outs, uh, they're just not aware of it. Maximum number of uh, uh, forks and knives on the table would be seven, including spoon. So three pairs. In British tradition, pairing and parallelism are important and mandatory. In French tradition, you would not follow it. If the dish doesn't require a knife, you would you, uh, play, uh, put just a, sp uh, a fork on the table. But put forks and knives in the proper way. In France, you would notice then forks are turned with their tines down. In Britain and the rest of the world, with their tines up. Well, there are two stories behind it. The first story says that in French houses, when they started using utensils and forks in particular, they came in beautiful clothes with wide and beautiful sleeves. And those sleeves would hook forks when they were turned with tines up. So they decided to place them like that. And another story says that uh, in uh, rich fam families, in homes, at homes of rich people, aristocracy, they branded their silver. It was very expensive, so they branded it to show that it belongs to their family. 
on this side they put their courts and arms here and uh, uh, British says we are not French and they started branding it on this side and turned their fox with tines up whatever tradition you keep never forget about your knife your knife should go with the blend bladder to the side of the plate you remember that knife was a weapon and it shows your peacefulness and your readiness for the dialogue when you invite friends home don't forget about decorating your table you could put flowers and candles in the middle of the table but don't do it so that flowers uh, close the view on the guests sitting opposite you remember that we are around the table to communicate i hope you enjoyed this video and in the next video i will tell you even more about table manners follow us on facebook and instagram and join our uh, lex etiquette lovers group on facebook stay safe and enjoy your day